Hey everybody, welcome back to E4 Art of War multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Lion, as well as Quill, Aruma, and Mathis. Say hello. Burp, burp, burp. Hello. Hey there. Let's do it. How you doing? Indeed. How you doing? <laughs> Only one year until I become 15. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, back to war. Did they back. just add this, by the way, that if you hover over the Regency Council, it says Regency ends on blah blah day? Or has that been there forever? No, I don't remember hearing about that. Yeah. Sweet. That's cool. Maybe they they watched the last week of episodes and were like, "Yeah, that seems like a pretty smart addition." Well, I don't think there's been a patch, has there? Well, I don't know. We've gone from the we went from the beta hotfix to the real hotfix, but Can I'm I just sure it would have been listed. Pausing it for a second here. Uh oh, what are you Sh doing? Sheik is now enabled. What is this? The Sheik Faith. Savadar, blah blah blah. blah, blah. Seek, sorry. Seek face. Seek is fucking Zelda. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I get this and I just get local missionary strength minus five. That's what I get. Seek is now enabled and I... The religion of... Uh, that sucks. Okay, whatever. I don't see any Seekism. I just I think one of my provinces ended up getting it. Oh, there it is. I see it now. That's annoying. Uh, Savanur. Pains in the ass. <laughs> I don't know if I want to trigger this coalition war. If they trigger, will we'll, uh, coalition members pull in allies of theirs that are not part of the coalition? Mm -mm. No. All right, good. Then maybe I will trigger. You this. actually can't click that checkbox. Yeah, you you could hover over it, Mathis, and read. Well, I, I all right. Well, <laughs> reading is difficult. First of all. Like it says right on there, they will they will not be considered well, a coalition. I can't click on it because I don't have a uh, friggin' uh, diplomat to send to declare war yet. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Mm -hmm. You're excused. Thanks, <laughs> teacher. Over time. There we go. That's <laughs> what I want. I'll never learn everything. I've already accepted this. I'm enjoying having these good missionaries. Like I'm actually getting fairly okay religious unity as a result. Yeah, you can convert things pretty quickly if you actually focus on getting, like, an extra 1% or 2%. That's all you need. Yeah, mm -hmm. it changes it from, like, well, in infinite Never. months yeah, yeah, into, like, you know, 10 years. And now I've got it at, like, 2 years per province. That's not so bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You should try playing as Najd. They have a, one of their ideas, like, their traditions is 5% conversion speed. Oh, wow. They're really good at converting almost everything. Even, like, Rome and Mecca. You know, if I did a Naj game, I don't think I would ever have to worry about converting Rome. But I can understand for you, maybe that's a pressing concern. Yes. You can do it as well. You have to be like a, a cathedral, because that gives, I think, plus 3% missionary strength. Like, it's pretty difficult, but it's it's possible. Do I need any Diplo points right now? Well, yeah, because I'm hoping to integrate. On the other hand, I could finish my religious ideas, which seems like a really good idea. Wow. Oh, Malwa. Fabricating claims on me, bitch. You just made the biggest mistake of your life. Who are you allied with? You're you're allied with Bengal. Ooh, okay. That's a danger Will Robinson situation right there. <laughs> uh, their military tech is six, and Bengal's is five. How much money am I making? Ten right now. I'll God. just start. I'll just start hiring some mercs. It's really good. So, do you think I should take admin tech three just so that I can support rebels? <laughs> <laughs> it well, it is fun to do. I mean, I can't do it yet, and uh, I could I could support some guys who are actually trying to return territory to one of my vassals. Oh, right, we now accept Telugu. Sweet. Oh, I'm one month away from manhood. Fourth of February, fifteen hundred. Get the diplomats back. Fifteen hundred. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> that didn't take that long. 
14 or 16 episodes in something like that mm-hmm you know it'd be nice on the screen that shows you the local autonomy and the unrest numbers it would be nice if on this screen it actually showed you the ones that were like negative that mm, so yeah. you could find yep. deeply negative things that was like my one of my specific complaints the other week was that it it doesn't show like it shows it now like it didn't used to show that but in 1.8 they added it so when you look at a province you can see the actual negative s summation yeah but and on I the one that. on the one screen that you would actually not want to know that it doesn't show it <laughs> so you still no. have to check every province my air is a 656 what <laughs> are you kidding me so Pass. good He's the greatest three-year-old of all time. <laughs> He'll probably die. <laughs> In a hunting accident, most likely. You can only hope. Start murder plot. <laughs> <laughs> we know we, we need to play some CK2 again, because that was really fun, murdering each other's heirs when they were really good. I don't even... I still have, like, PTSD about doing so much <laughs> to give Mathis power, and then him just continually stabbing me in the back. <laughs> And somehow you turned the commenters against me, too. It was like, oh, you deserved it. I'm you like, did deserve it. You took my land. I didn't take your land. I took you the like, AI I demand land. It. I demand it as payment for putting for, your you in You refuse to acknowledge the real terms of the situation, <laughs> which is that I took the land that the AI owned that was next to you. Which was my land. Yeah. That's not your land. <laughs> Minus 200 relationship considered well, their land. <laughs> if we were to play, I think... The, the best suggestion that I've seen has been that we would play four patricians in a republic. Because then we'd all right, we'd yeah. all be part of the same oh. country. Which would be pretty oh. cool. That is kind of neat, actually. Like, just Venetians? Yeah, like, play as Venice or, uh... What's the other one? What um, you is Narialto. But we would all have to start as the non-doge, and then we could fight over who's the doge. Mm -hmm. It'd be pretty cool. Mathis wouldn't win, I don't think. No, I've never actually played as a Republic in that game before. I don't know all, like, the CK2 machinery. I just, like, pick people to marry at random because they look good. Based on appearance? You got it. Yeah, totally. <laughs> How else do you pick your spouses? I mean, come on. I just you go for the, the strong ones. The, ones. Chin, okay? the strong ones. That's all that matters. Okay, these truces are about to give way. No, uh, that doesn't matter. Lang Sun, they do, because they hate me. So I'm going to rejoin the coalition. If I'm going to do this shit, I actually have to do it pretty soon. Mm. Yeah, that's a better option. All right, Vietnam, how many troops do you have? 7,000. What's your military tech? Four. Aha! You know, oh, Yemen, so much you your, <laughs> if you play your cards right, Yemen, you could actually survive this war. But I think if you get greedy, you're basically screwed. So it's up to you. I don't want greedy anything Yemen. from you. I want stuff from uh, from a uh, Jaron. Ah, maybe I'll full annex you too. <laughs> Maybe. I love the build all mercenaries button. <laughs> I, I mean, I it's a great know. way to just tank your economy. It trains but all it's... of them, though, right? Like, it, it will train the sol the uh, cavalry and the artillery. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. I, I do not like artillery mercenaries because they take no losses in combat. That's true. I wish there was like a build all infantry mercenaries or build all. But yeah, it's a cool button. And do they rally to one point? To one point? That is the best part. That's what they need to add next. The ability to create rally yeah, points. Absolutely. Yeah, that, I mean, it happens when you when you build from a template. Yeah, I, what I find myself doing is I'll just do it... Oh, one of my vassals has the Peasants War. Sweet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's not a good sign. Um, but yeah, like I'll, I'll like create a template just to make six guys because I want them to rally. Right. Bengal's gonna get that's right. I keep forgetting about that. Bengal will get involved. We have no CB over there. I'm gonna try and start pitting like Bengal against Malwa here. Possible. 
They call in a war? No. Not yet. You gonna declare they're, them? Uh, no, no. They're allied to Malwa, so I don't really want to deal with that right now. They're both of kind of similar size. What a Malacca. Now, wow. Malacca, that's the way to do it. Okay. If I can get Bengal as an ally and get Malwa to declare war on me, though, because Malwa hates me, then, uh,. I should be able to pick apart Malwa pretty quickly. I ended up at war with Kara. Wow. But I think it'll be fine. Shit, is that? Classic Kara Kunyulu. Just uh just to back up one of my allies. They can get to me though. Mm, I don't know. Might be screwed there. Hmm. I could really use that diplomatic reputation guy right about now. Hmm. Yeah, I am. I agree. What better relations over time? Nah, just hmm. Mm. No, the two diplomatic reputation guy. The guy that gives you two. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I gotcha. Making sure. Sorry. <laughs> I just. He seemed confused. Con I'm concentrating. <laughs> okay. Concentrating. Okay. Okay. I hear you. Okay. I hear you. Yeah. I know, there's nothing I can do right now. I have no, I have no rivals. Um, hmm. I'm doing some crazy stuff. But I had to declare war now, because otherwise someone is probably going to join in the coalition in a second as soon as a truce expired. Doesn't it seem strange that your vassals can have the Peasants' War? Mm hmm. Why not? It just the seems, Peasants can rise up. just seems weird. I guess I'll go take care of it for them. Like, at least for them, they've got an overlord to, like, step in and just take care of it. I guess it's not that mm -hmm. bad, but... Oh, they start sieging there instead of helping out now? Kandesh, how dare you insult me? I don't know where you are. Let's find out. Oop. Yes, yeah, so we'll give him the extra leader. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yes, go to Delhi. Kara has like 40,000 men, but only six boats. Maybe I can just blockade them and be like, well, come on, white peace. <laughs> <laughs> We're not fighting each other directly. Who cares? All right. So my actual war goal in this war I'm fighting is Vietnam, because I want to be able to reach the Ming because they are in a perma weak state. And I want to be able to take advantage of that. But this is totally going to screw Najd. Like, they're going to be done. Out of the game. Always nice to take someone out. They're my ally, though. <laughs> <laughs> and what a great ally you are. Hey, I, they offered me the option to not lose prestige, and I took it. A little bit of backstabbing. Not much. No, it's just pa passive backstabbing. A soupçon. Soupçon of uh, backstab. All right, you are going to move all the way back up here. Oh, I can't go into this country. There's nowhere they're going to let me in. No, they are. Really? Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, I kind of wish that... Um... There were some more people nearby. <laughs> Do you not <laughs> you have any don't... targets? No. no. I can attack uh, Tlemkin and fight the Mamluks and the Ottomans. Too bad we can't collude. It's true. If I could see you, I'd, I'd just attack you. I think I can see your... Are you orange? No. 
That might what? be Mutapa. Is that are they right above you? Uh oh, right above me. No, yeah. that's like my a Korea or something. How come you haven't eaten them? Oh, I, I think I can see your border. You're blue. They're allied. Yeah. They're allied with the Mamluks. I can see a tiny little corner of you that's that's blue. I didn't expand uh, north so much. More of a south-facing nation right now. Hmm. My vassals are doing a great job in this war. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I just left them on their own devices. I almost have an idea. I'm really excited. <laughs> you almost have a clue? I do. I'm getting, I'm getting we were able to make cannons without getting an idea. Called that. Lang Chang, as soon as our truce expired, joined the coalition against me. But I'm fighting all the other coalition members right now, so they're going to have a coalition of one. So happy I'm paying attention. This has been a good week, even though like we've been a little quiet, but I think it's because we've all got something on the go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of progress. Had a kind of a bang opening this week in slow, slow middle. I can't, I just can't bring myself to culture convert Yorumba. I can't, I can't, <laughs> cannot do it. Why not? The name's not going to change, is it? Or is that the culture name? It's the name of the culture, Yorumba. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was the name of a province. You should actually just convert to that culture. I don't know how to do that. I've actually never tried to do. A I th think culture. it has to be the culture of your capital. That sounds about right. So move your capital to there, and then see if you uh, get the decision to culture convert. No, it's it's a I'm very sure very. It would be good for your country, but it would be <laughs> awesome. Yeah, your rumba is only twelve percent of my country. That'd be pretty bad. <laughs> Make that the primary culture. All right. So what am I at? Thirty-eight of twenty-nine force limit. Awesome. <laughs> That's hey, crazy. That. Thirty <laughs> thirty-eight of how much? Of twenty-nine. 29? I went on a mass uh, merc buying spree right before this war because I knew I needed a lot of bodies kicking around. So now I can disband a bunch of them. It worked. I had to, like, I was attacking on three different fronts. I had shit to do, yo. <laughs> Don't judge me. Do I want to go to war right now? Always. No, I don't have enough diplo points. I just, I just teched up. Never mind. It's Ooh, annoying. We're get an interesting yeah. war here. I'm back down to 29 of 29 and making money. What? Oh, right. I had my allies. That's the other thing to help. Both my allies joined in this war. Got a nice little, like, jaunty European kind of like, uh, you know, debutante's ball type track going on in the background here. <laughs> it's really fitting with my war of, like, Arabian conquest. <laughs> well, the good news is I have some gold mines. The bad news is that there's a lot of inflation happening. Mm-hmm. It's okay. You you can use your administrative ideas. Oh wait, are you still at tech oh, two with that? Snap. Tech two. Yes. <laughs> you, what you thought that I was actually gonna take tech three? I don't know. know. That seems now. silly. <laughs> but how would you? How are you gonna support rebels? I can't. <laughs> this is just not. It's just beyond us. It's not possible. <laughs> You know, I think Rebel AI needs some work. Like, okay, so these guys are moving around from province to province. They siege it, and then they move to the next province. The AI moves in and takes it back. Yeah. Like, they should they should try to protect their sieges. They should function like an AI that's at war. Maybe, but the thing is, usually for their ticking thing to, like, break a country, they actually have to have a certain percentage of it sieged. Right, so they so should that's... aggressively protect their sieges. Yeah, but they're probably thinking, oh, I gotta take more territory to achieve my war goals. Hmm. I might actually keep this cog and build a bit of a, a transport navy. I want to go after Brunei. Can I? I still I have no shared borders with them because we're all in separate sea zones. That's actually really annoying. So there's no way for me to get a, a CB. 
Should I become really? def- should I just become defender of the faith? <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> Are you soon he? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna run into problems then, I think. Oh, why? Because you're gonna attack some Sunni people? Everyone around me. <laughs> a lot of my targets are Sunni as well. The problem is I don't know about you, so I don't think I could get a call to arms. Yeah, okay. I probably wouldn't. I just watched the AI walk four troops, four regiments, I should say, into 18. It Sounds... just could have gone around, decided yeah. against it. Seems reasonable. Hmm. All right. Except not at all, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pretty, pretty dumb, I think. Can you give me a quick refresher course? Uh, declare war on probably a lesser power. There's no war leader anymore, but despite owning all the provinces, they're only at 48% war score. You have to, it takes five years for that uh, to, go to, to basically stop taking taking effect. You said there's no war leader? No, there must be a war leader. Well, it's, uh, they're the war leader, but there's no system where like the greater power becomes the war leader anymore. That's right. But right. you've got to like break the will of the greater power to get it to 100% anyway, something like that. Yeah, so, I mean, if you literally had 100% siege on all the combatants in the entire war, then that'd be 100%. Okay. But otherwise, the only way to get 100% by sieging the war leader is to wait for five years. Ugh. And then it'll jump right from, like, 29% to 100% overnight. Okay. It makes sense, but I wish it didn't. (laughs) Well, do we want to wrap this episode up, by the way? Yeah, I suppose we should. Yeah. Crabs. Crabs. Okay. Well, pause whenever you're uh, whenever you're ready. Sweet. I'm in a good spot. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye. See you soon.